Welcome to the University of Portsmouth graduation ceremony. Before the ceremony begins, we would like to share with you some of our students' achievements. Please enjoy our short alumni association video. At the time that I was at Portsmouth, I think it helped me realise my ambition. I came in a normal working class girl from Reading. I think I found my voice when I was at Portsmouth. Excited. Nervous. Relief. Adventurous. My very first day at Portsmouth, there was a mixture of trepidation. I was moving away from home for the first time. It was quite daunting. I had been in a place with that many people, but then that soon flipped around because you realise everyone else is more scared than you are. My fondest memories of my time at Portsmouth have been the friendships that I've made and also just being inspired in the lectures. It was so exciting to be at uni and be straight away in like a live broadcast environment and that first initial memory has sort of sparked something that hopefully I'll continue for the rest of my life. It's definitely made me a confident young lady that can go forward now and I wouldn't really hesitate to take on anything in life. The emotion I felt when I was sitting in graduation hall was something surreal. It was the end result of a lot of hard work. I can remember all of those days sat down thinking, I don't understand what I'm writing about here, or I don't know how to reference. Thinking back to how far I'd come along the whole journey, and then handing that piece in, and then receiving the results, it was a very special moment. It's been an amazing experience. If I could do it all again, I would. What excites me the most for the future is that I can be Part of what I was thinking of being when I was studying university, actually make those bridges and those buildings and say that I've done this and feel quite great for it. Since I graduated from Portsmouth, I haven't been able to keep away. I've kept in touch with the alumni team. I've done some volunteering with them, so I've been back a couple of times to Facebook Live, so I've hosted some events. The careers and employability, they went above and beyond. And to know that they were there for five years after I finished university helped with the pressure of the real world. I benefited from the postgraduate scholarship and I think that has been amazing in terms of making it easier and less stressful to go and do a master. It isn't the end of your journey in Portsmouth. Portsmouth will always be here for you and as an alumni, there is so much more to offer. I am incredibly proud to always be part of Portsmouth. It is part of my soul. It's part of who I am today. It's made me who I am today and to be able to go back and keep giving back is great.
an important day in the life of the university, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you here to Portsmouth. We're here today to celebrate the success of our graduates, and I now formally declare this congregation of the university open. Please sit down. Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, and graduates. It is a privilege to welcome you to our university and the city of Portsmouth for this great event. Graduation is a special time for students, for family and friends, and for university staff. For students, today is one of your key transition points in life. After today, some of you will carry on studying at Portsmouth or elsewhere. Others will move straight into the careers you've been planning for some time. Some of you might take a little longer to work out what you really want to do, and that's fine. And some of you will be off on some adventure, possibly to live in another country, and that's fine too. For most of you, today is probably your last day with us having achieved what you set out to do when you arrived here three, and in some cases, more years ago. Since you have been with us, there have been many challenges. You will all have faced your own personal challenges, but together we had to deal with the pandemic. I have constantly been amazed and overwhelmed by how well you did your part to keep everyone safe as well as, as well as continuing to work hard through some very difficult times. Because you have overcome so, so many challenges to be here today, it gives me immense pleasure to be able to personally and on behalf of staff at the university, congratulate you on your well-earned achievement. I am immensely proud of you and you should be. Today is also a very special day for your family and friends, some of whom are here with you today. Family and friends will have seen you grow and go off to university, in most cases moving away. Now they are with you to celebrate the end of one stage of your journey and the start of another. And this is an important moment in their lives too. They have supported you, worried about you, inspired you, encouraged you, been a shoulder to cry on and a listening ear. Your parents, partners, children, wider family and friends have been vital support networks. I think it is appropriate that you, our graduates, should now stand up and with a round of applause, join me in thanking your family and friends who are here today. So can I ask all the graduates please to stand up? A round of applause, please. It is always the case that the first round of applause is not as good. So can you be serious enough now? And you have my permission to make as much noise as you can and express your feelings to your friends and family, please, in the loudest possible way. Thank you, much better. Be seated, please, now. Graduation is also a special time for my colleagues who, over the last several years, will have seen you grow intellectually, socially, and emotionally, and who will have played a role in that growth and development. I want to thank them for that support. The pandemic has been a very difficult time for them, too. I hope that as soon to be university graduates, you are confident that you are graduating from a university that is recognized as part of the modern global elite of universities 
tackling the real challenges of the 21st century. We have the best rating, TEF goal, for our teaching. We have more academic staff producing more world-class research than ever before. And our research and innovation are helping to make the world a better place. For example, through our mission space project, we are supporting one of the UK's growth sectors underpinned by world-class physics research. Through revolution plastics and hydrogen energy, we are leading the way in engineering and technology research and international development on sustainability and climate change. But we plan more, much more. The university has a vision that by 2030, we will be the top modern university nationally and one of the top 100 young universities globally. We hope that as we realize our vision, we will make you prouder of your association with us. So while today marks a significant milestone in your lives, we hope it just means a change and a lifelong relationship with you. Please make use of our excellent alumni association and keep in touch as you continue your journey through life. Across the world, there are difficult challenges. It can be easy to be pessimistic and feel anxious. But days like today are the reason why I am optimistic. When I look at today's graduates, I see passionate, highly skilled people, full of ideas, ready and prepared to reshape our world. Seeing you all today is a welcome reminder that whatever difficulties we face, our future is in good hands. I hope you feel that too. You will be the future leaders, thinkers, creators, and innovators that this country and the world desperately needs. And when you are successful, please come back to visit us and be part of our elite team supporting future generations of Portsmouth students. Finally, I urge you to live by the values of your university, in, in your university, in all that you do. Be responsible, be open, be ambitious, and never settle for second best. I congratulate you on your awards and wish you every success for your future. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the formal part of the ceremony and I invite the Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor and the Academic Registrar to make the formal declarations after which the students will process. They will be congratulated by, first by the Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor and then by myself, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Technology. Before that though, and whilst we are getting the students ready for their procession, we have prepared a short film of congratulations from colleagues across the university. It is my sincere pleasure to bring you warm wishes and congratulations on your graduation. Massive congratulations from me to you on completing your degree and becoming a 2022 graduate of the University of Portsmouth. You have achieved something extraordinary and the university is very proud of you and your classmates, the class of 22. Congratulations from the My Port Nuffield team. I wish you all the best on the new chapter of your life story. We're all extremely very proud of you and we hope to see some of you again soon doing some post-grad studies. Your degree has pushed the door wide open into the world and I wish you all the best on your journey. We look forward to seeing you move forward with many more wonderful achievements and milestones in your life ahead. We are committed to supporting you into the future and being part of your onward journey. You're now part of a global family of more than 250,000 Portsmouth alumni. I'm privileged to be a part of it too. I still remember the sense of pride and happiness from my mum and dad seeing me walk across the stage of the Guildhall. Congratulations to all of you. Well done for your achievements. You should be proud of yourself. Congratulations to everybody and all the best for your futures. Congratulations from everyone at the chaplaincy team. Take time to celebrate all you've achieved, the memories you've gathered, the friends you've made, and the person that you've become. My advice to you is to acknowledge the voices in your head, be attuned to the feelings in your heart, 
but always, always trust your gut. You've got this. I thank you for trusting those precious years to the University of Portsmouth and wish you all the very best for the many exciting things that life will offer you in the future. It is all about you and celebrating with your friends and family. And remember, you will always be part of Portsmouth. Congratulations on your graduation. Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor, as academic registrar, I confirm that all those presented at this ceremony have successfully completed their studies and have satisfied all conditions and requirements of the university. By the authority of the university, I confirm that all those who are duly qualified are hereby admitted to the awards for which they are presented. Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the School of Civil Engineering and Surveying for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Construction Project Management, Mohammed Naveed Omadi. <laughs> for the award of Master of Science in Building Information Management, Nazra Saif Suleiman al Sharji. Faya Botsaropolo. <laughs> Christina Ivanova. <laughs> Georgios Kansaris. <laughs> Christina Nastu. Jaina Prasant Patel. <laughs> Shaheen Paykat. <laughs> Raouf Samayan. <laughs> Modupe Sobawale. <laughs> Stasia Stas. Aishigal Takia Aldemir. <laughs> Constantina Fotini Sami. <laughs> Wei Pim Wu. <laughs> Zane Zubair. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Mohammed Faris Al Khatib. Keegan Dias, <laughs> Susu Halang, <laughs> Ain't That Mew, <laughs> Lai Swan Tech, <laughs> Yasser Nabil. Diana Shistra Strakova, <laughs> Emre Yorumas, <laughs> for the award of Master of Science in Civil Engineering with Environmental Engineering, Nua Hafiza Abdul Manaf, <laughs> Ayabami Adiyemu. Brian Harrison. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science in Civil Engineering with Structural Engineering, Al Khalil Ahmed Saif Al Amri.
Haytham McCable. For the award of Master of Science in Construction Project Management, Sher Singo. Nine two. Mohammed Khalid Khan. Oliver Loach. Adeola Ola Nare Waji. For the award of Master of Science in Quantity Surveying, Moinadin Ahmed. <laughs> Mohammed Khalifa Saeed Al Barami. <laughs> Harry Alexander. <laughs> Frank Antwi Boasiaki. Hardeep Singh Bakar. <laughs> Janice Joseph Chavram Clarko. <laughs> Mitchell Housen. <laughs> Chun Ting Kwok. With the Society of Construction Law Prize for the best performance in the Construction Law and Dispute Resolution Module, Kwame Chire. <laughs> Sviko Mbarero Matsogo. <laughs> Jordan Ngandu. Jordan Payne. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science in Real Estate Management, Reginald Smith. <laughs> For the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering and Surveying, for a program of research and evaluation of phosphorus removal from wastewater via reactive media, Saskia Benzing. Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of students from the School of Civil Engineering and Surveying. Oops. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the School of Energy and Electronic Engineering. For the award of Master of Science in Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Vinoth Chembra. <laughs> Raul Gopta. <laughs> For the award of, of Master of Science in Electronic and Electrical Engineering with professional experience, Ali Amin. Reshma Begum. Nisha Jahan. Ripon Chandra Roy. For the award of Master of Science in Electrical, Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Mohammed Shamin Ahmed. <laughs> Yahya Saif Salim Al Busaidi. <laughs> Abdul Aziz Suleiman Mohammed M. Al Ghasri. <laughs> Romana Alam.
Rumana Manta Alam. Shebin Baby. Mohammed Ashwal Ashwalful Alam Bayouan. Daniel Burns. Ramin Akhtar Chowdhury. Divin Davis. Matthew Duffert. Rumon Hussain. Mohammed Majufo Islam. Jonathan Edward Kidd. Youthman Olibudunum Layeni. Mahash Moravani. Somoto Olini Tami Okeke. Darshan Hashimikube by Patel. Rima J. Patel. <laughs> Nolan Wilson Piera. <laughs> Hamsad Rah Rahmin. <laughs> Mohammed Madhuboba Rahman. <laughs> Muhammad Alim Shahid. Yasmin Tawawai. <laughs> Olaydu Youssef Youssef. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science in Electronic and Electrical Engineering, with professional experience, Vinoth v v Raj Ranaja. For the award of Master of Science in Electronic Engineering, Mashal Muhanna Hamid Al Bimani. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science in Energy and Power Systems Man Management, Nias Shahul Hamid. <laughs> Mah Mahmoud Ahwal Jamil Bait Swalim. Mohammed Shamil Chiralith Punatali, with the award for the prize, with the, hang on a minute, for the award of the prize of the best student in the postgraduate program. Sorry about that, wrong order. <laughs> Mohammed Akramali Hak. With the top prize for the MSc, in MSc programs, Ifiti Ka Khan. Shadman Ahmad Khatak. <laughs> Daniel Paul Mann. <laughs> Tusif Usmani Manzur. <laughs> Bahrath Murali. <laughs> Amanda Nock Andrew. Aulanra Ju Clement Obey. <laughs> Thomas Prince. <laughs> Ishtag Udin. <laughs> Mohammed Wakas.
Elijah Omaledoba Ajiboy. Apologies. Sayeth Prasad Venu Jain. Tamsin Jokan. Tato Moletsi Mafoko. Kerolos Youssef Aziz Murkos. Nemezi Kitsitso Onohu. Kushal Ivan Vashel Panchal. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Energy and Electronic Engineering for Program of Research in a Novel Vision-Based Fire Detection Algorithm, Oluru Tawu Mishia Sean Giwa. In which case, this concludes the presentation of the students of the School in Energy and Electronic Engineering. Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor, I present to you True Words Nyesa to respond to the university on behalf of the graduates. Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is wonderful to be standing here today speaking on your behalf. First of all, congratulations to us all. We made it. Through the ups and downs and the challenges, we succeeded to be here for this very moment. Throughout this journey, we all decided to take some time ago. There were moments of chaos and moments of peace, moments of confusion and moments of certainty. There were moments of tears, but there were also moments of pure joy and it was all worth it. Because it was in this moment we grew, we found our true strengths, and we live here better people for it. Portsmouth University has shown us the importance of working together, the power of acceptance and inclusion through the policy of diversity, which has given us an opportunity to meet with and experience various cultures and people we otherwise would not have. We cannot go without appreciating the amazing staff for all the support they rendered and for walking with us through this journey. So thank you to all the lecturers, the student union, and to all the student services for all the academic and non-academic support you offered continuously and unrelentlessly, for being the light by our feet, guiding us through from the very beginning till now. We are forever grateful to you. As we leave here today, may we always remember who we are, the lessons we have learned from the university, and take them with us wherever we go next, shining the light as proud alumni of the University of Portsmouth. This may be the end of our journey here, but it is the beginning of a whole new one, and I hope we walk into with grace and confidence. I wish us all the best in our new endeavors, and I know that whatever comes next will be just as amazing and rewarding as this one was. Thank you.
Well, usually at this point of the ceremony, we would hear from our Chancellor, Karen Blackett, but unfortunately, she's unable to join us today. But never one to miss a ceremony, Karen has recorded a special message for you. So let's hear what Karen has to say. Hi, I'm Karen Blackett, and I am the Chancellor of the University. Massive congratulations from me to you on completing your degree and becoming a 2022 graduate of the University of Portsmouth. We have something in common. I am also a graduate of the University and have been where you are today, albeit nearly 30 years ago. Although it was a very long time ago, I still remember the sense of pride and happiness from my mum and dad seeing me walk across the stage of the Guildhall. They were first generation immigrants from Barbados to the UK and my graduation was a huge achievement for them both, not just me. I also remember my own overwhelming feeling of relief and happiness that I had done it, but also slight trepidation about what was next. Getting my degree was the first big step in a lifelong journey of learning and I continue to learn and develop every single day. Graduating is an amazing achievement. I hope you take the time to pause for a moment and really celebrate. Take the time to reflect on what you have just accomplished and your time at Portsmouth. Please share your stories of your next steps. We love to hear about the great things our graduates are doing as it inspires the next generation. Now, as you enter the next phase of your lifelong journey of learning, you will face constant changes. There will be many highs, but there will also be bumps in the road. The socio-political environment we find ourselves in today may be bringing some anxiety. The outbreak of war in the Ukraine, rising inflation and the cost of living are all real challenges that we face. This environment, combined with the constant arrival of new technological developments, innovations and changes in ways of working, means that we find ourselves living constantly in what psychologists call the learning dip. During the period when you are learning something new, your performance will naturally dip. But over time, as you get more experience, your performance rises again. The issue for all of us, however, is that we're constantly having to learn new things as the world is changing so quickly. Hence, we are constantly being plunged into the dip, which can trigger fear and worry. Worry that we will initially not be totally competent and that we'll get ourselves into trouble as a result. This naturally affects our confidence. So when this happens, I want you to remember something for me. Whenever you feel like you can't, I want you to turn that thought into, I can't yet. Because you will be able to do it, whatever it is. With the right support, encouragement and perseverance, you can and you will achieve. You have so much to offer. We believe in you, I believe in you. The university will be there to support you and be your cheerleaders. You're now part of a global family of more than 250,000 Portsmouth alumni. I'm privileged to be a part of it too. Make the most of the wonderful connections, networks and mentoring that this community opens up. You will have times ahead where you are not sure about what the right decision is. What is the right thing to do? My advice to you is to acknowledge the voices in your head, be attuned to the feelings in your heart, but always, always trust your gut. You've got this. Now one last thing, and it's important. Please take the time to look up from your screens and look around you. Really look. You can change the world by starting with the world immediately around you. You have the ability to make it a much, much better place. I genuinely believe that every single one of us has a superpower inside us. Find it, nurture it and use it. That is an amazing gift and please use it wisely. I'm really relying on you to do this. But right now, however, it's all about you and celebrating with your friends and family. Enjoy, you deserve it. 
And remember, you will always be part of Portsmouth. Congratulations in graduating in 2022. I would like to add my congratulations to all of those that have already been expressed and to thank everyone that supported our graduates through their journey with the university. We now come to the end of the ceremony and I declare this degree congregation closed. Please be upstanding for the academic procession. <laughs>